Hello there and welcome back to Building the Boys. We now have issue 75 of Hashet's Build the Dizzy Dolls House. And this is the first one of the monthly uh, delivery. Um, there's a lot to do. Between 75 and 78 there is a, a hell of a lot to do and by the end of this we're pretty much done with the second floor. There is going to be reason to go back and visit at certain points. We have to do a little bit more in Ariel's bathroom and a little bit some piece around the house. But by the time we've done the next four we will have the structure of floor two complete, along with the second staircase, well, the third staircase, we include one of the poos, staircase in, and that's us done with stairs. We'll never build another set of stairs again. It's a little sad, I know, but it's, uh, it is the way it is. Um, so by the end of this one, we will be pretty much complete with second floor, then move on to third floor. In this one in particular, uh, we are going to be fitting the second door upstairs. So that is the adjoining room from the music room to Cinderella's bedroom. Um, and that, I believe, is pretty much all we're doing we've got some skirting board as well to go into the um uh into the music room and we will be attaching the the ceiling of the little mermaid's bathroom we could have done that last month really but they've asked us to wait till this month for some reason um but that's what we've got so that's what we're doing we do get some um pretty details in this one um for donald's room so we'll take a look at those first we'll get the house over we'll get this built Okay, so here are the pretties that come with this issue. We've got another cushion. As so There's a big pile of cushions in the middle of the floor of Donald's room. That's one of them. We have uh, another ship's wheel here. That, again, will be going on the wall of the room. And we have this very large anchor, which also will be fitting on the room, walls. So those will be on the walls at the back of the room. And the cushion will be in the middle. It's all very nice. All adds to that beach nautical theme. And obviously Donald Duck being a duck and his little sailor outfit. It's going to look lovely when it's all done. Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to be installing the door um, to um, uh, to the house. Um, now again, unlike the doors that we did originally, but this is similar to the last one, these are plastic frames. So these plastic frames we've been doing the door. Before we do that, we need to actually attach, we need to build the door together. So it's this one here and this one here. Now, let's make sure we're going the right way round. So that is how this is going to go. So it's going to go like that, we're going to glue that together, and it'll be going in that way up. So that's how your door's going to be looking. So the little panel's going to be at the bottom, the large panel's going to be at the top, and that's how that one's going to go. So you've got your door handles there, I mean the, the handle holes are a very good way of lining this up, and also the pins as well. So all we're going to do is we're going to pop a little glue on each of these pins, and we're going to glue this together. Okay, let's take our door, we use the cocktail stick method and get some of our power gel here and we're going to put some of these pins just there you want to go mad i mean you even have to cover the pins if you've got super glue on all six pins the door is going to hold it was a snug fit anyway don't cake anything in glue i mean i've said that bloody hell hundreds of times now uh right so that's that glued up nicely as i said you don't have to put loads on there it's just not necessary i'll take this section of door here and marry the two together That's that. We're going to let that one dry, and then we're going to attach the handles to this before we install it into the main house. Okay, so that's had sufficient time to dry. That's holding quite nicely. Next we're going to do is add our handles. Again, cocktail stick method. Just going to a touch of glue to each of these pins. So that one there, that one there. And then we're going to pop this one in this way around. So the large... Um, Surround there goes at the top, smaller goes just underneath there. Flip it over, we do the exact same thing on this door here. So, again, just a touch, don't need loads, don't go mad. There we are. I'm going to take this one, use your tweezers if you want for this, but I don't think it's necessary. But if you want to avoid getting any on your fingers, might be a good idea. So that's our door complete. Now all we need to do is bring the house over and attach just the actual frame itself. Okay, so the next thing we're working on is the frame for Cinderella's uh, door. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a thin layer of glue, not loads, you're not going mad, uh, to this thing um, to hold it in place. I apologise for the circular saw, that guy's got exquisite timing. Uh, there we go. Let's get some of this on again. 
super glue is going to bond this to the wall like no one's business so we just got to make sure we have it evenly spread out along this frame and we'll be good i'm going to get that glued up and then we'll get it installed okay so with our door glued up uh, we are going to install it into the frame here now don't be afraid to give this some you know encouragement to get in because it is quite snug but it will it will go there we go that's in there we are okay so now we have the frame in from this side we want this door to face into the cinderella way so we're going to go right into the lugs just below there and just up there and then that one's going to close make sure it's leveled there we go so the pins are in that's where we need to be next thing we're going to do is all of these pins here are going to have a touch of glue on them and we're going to take our Aristocats frame and we're going to attach that to lock that door in place. So we're going to get that glued up and we'll have a look. Okay, so I'm trying to do this one-handed, um, but this is where we're now going to go. <laughs> yeah, not about it one-handed, I'm afraid. When you get this glued in place, we'll take a look. Okay, so there we are. We now have the Cinderella door in place. Looking really rather lovely it is too. So we have, we close these ones, you can see both of those in. We have a little mermaid door and we have our Cinderella door. Looking really rather lovely. Uh, next thing we'll be doing is we're going to be adding all of the skirting to the music room. So let's get that done. Okay, so these are our skirting pieces. Now you get a lot of other pieces in there, but the thick ones, the, the wider ones, are your skirting. Uh, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. I'm going to glue them and I'm going to put them in one by one so you can see exactly where each one goes. Okay, so starting with this one, this is one that's got two flat ends. There's no angled end on this one at all. That is going to slot in here next to your door. So that's where that one's going to go, right in there. Now the next one we're going to use is this piece here. Now this piece has got the angled end, as you can see there, and this is going to tuck in just there. So we're going to put this one in first before we put the back one in. Put this one in first. It makes life a lot easier. So we're going to sit flush to the door, leave enough room there for this to get into. So there you can see, that is that one into the corner wall there. Now we work on the back wall and we're going to take the longest piece. That's this one here. So our bevel will fit in there like so. Now it's going to want to jump down the stairs. That's what's going to happen. So you need to be conscious of this angle. Glue it, hold it, keep it firm and it will stay in place. Let it dry before you release because it's gonna to want to jump down this hole. Don't let it do that. Okay, so we've got the first three pieces in. The next piece is this piece. This one's got one flat, one beveled edge, and this is going to go in here like so, right up against the bevel of the one on the back wall. So you are going to leave that gap there. That's fine because as you can see, we've got this little piece here that's going to sit flush to the door and it's going to leave a little gap. That is so we can install the stairs later on. But I'll get these installed and I will show you exactly how it looks. Okay, so that's how we're now looking. And the next thing we're going to do is we'll take this wider of the two small ones. It's that size there. So I'm going to show you the really small one. Is that one. We're not using that one yet. We're going to be using this one. And it's going to sit flush against this door here. Uh, I'm going to glue that up and I'll show you where it goes. So that's how we're now looking there. Now finally... We have this tiny little one here, and that is going to sit right here, right flush against this door. And then that is all the skirting boards done for this one. Okay, so all the skirting, what we're going to do next is the decorative strips to go along the top walls. Now, I'm going to put two of these in, and it's these two here. Now, you will notice a, a sloped end on that one and a sloped end on that one. So this one with the sloped end is going to fit along this wall here, like so. And we are going to allow the wallpaper to be our guide. So you want it to come to the edge of your wallpaper. I can show you what I'm talking about here. There. That's where we're going to want to be. Uh, so it leaves enough gap. So when we put the uh, the bits come with the next issue of, on the back wall, they're about to fit in. And then the other one is going to fit there with the bevel in the corner here. So let's get those installed. So here we go. That's our, our decorative strip installed on this side. And then on this side... You leave this gap here because this is where the, the front uh, of the house is going to sit. So we do need the gap there. But you can see it's level with uh, with the roof and that's how we're going to go on. Now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to glue um, the ceiling of uh, Ariel's bathroom in place. So this is how we prepare the glue. You can see it across the top there. We're going to take our Ariel's bathroom ceiling and we are going to slot this one in. 
Let's stand up for this. This is how tall this is getting now. Um, yep, 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 yep. That one down there, that one down there, that one on there, that one on there. It's going in lovely. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I've got to get this tab in. Uh, I'm going to have to squeeze it. I can't do it one-handed, unfortunately. I'm just get it done. I'm going to take a look inside. So that's that one glued in. And then we go into the room itself. We can take a look. There we are. Now, I've seen people saying that they're worried about light shining through. Now, you can see some light shining through there. But let me show you something. You focus on the light. I'm going to take Peter Pan's floor. So you focus on that light bleed that's coming through there. And it will just turn into a hole. That's it. So it's a very weird hole in here, but something is going to go in there and plug that hole. It'll be white, so you won't see it. So you don't worry about light bleed. Weight is going to put push down on this. So any sort of like gap you can see, I mean, there's a the slight gap there. The amount of weight that's going to come on top of this, don't worry about that. That's, that's all going to pull together, so do not stress. This is unfinished, so don't worry about anything like that. We go, oh my God, it's like, no, honestly, it's all going to be fine. Um, but that is all there is to do. I say all there is to do. That was a lot to do. Um, in this stage, we've got our door in now. We've got the Aristocats room is pretty much done. I mean, we need a ceiling and a staircase. That's it. Um, Ariel's bathroom is still need the light for the back wall. That doesn't come for a while yet. Um, but we will be moving on to Cinderella's room. Cinderella's room is very bare at the moment. It's going to look a lot more detailed by the time we finish the next issue. Let's have a chat. So that's that one complete. I mean, it's a lot to do, and we have a lot more to do in the next one as well. So in the next one, we're building all the elements for Cinderella's room. Um, it's a lot, uh, but it's coming along quite nice. Take your time with this. I mean, they, as I've always said, there's no rush to anything. So take your time with it. Make sure everything's nice and level, and it'll go in easy. Now, they've chosen something a bit weird with the ceilings in this one. So rather than putting one, two, and three ceilings in, we put one, three, then they want us to put two, the middle one in which is going to be, I can see that causing problems. Um, so I'm going to take a look at it, and if there's a better way of doing it, I'll advise. But I can see that being, trying to get one snug in the, I don't know, we'll we'll, we'll take a look when we get to it. Um, but it's looking lovely, right? It's looking really good. And I'm amazed how, how fast this is moving now, because we, we barely started on floor two, and we're nearly done, which is remarkable, but that's where we are. Um, if you haven't yet, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps our channel massively. Um, if you have any questions, you can email us at buildingthebilliesatoutlook.com um, and we'll be happy to answer them for you. There have been a few bits and pieces come up with the Disney Dolls House. And I can't remember if we spoke about it the last time, but uh, in Japan, where they are nearing the end of this one, um, the end of the extension, they've just been offered a display case. So they've been offered a display case that I think comes in at around about £250 for a massive acrylic display case that covers the doll's house so i don't know if we're going to get offered that or not but that is definitely something that is being offered in japan um so that's something to be aware of if you are hoping to put this in a case it looks like they're going to offer one um i don't know i don't know if it'll be here but it's definitely being offered in japan at the moment um lots of exciting stuff coming up for this one uh, if you'd like to email us you can you can contact buildingboysoutlet.com i do have beyond just izzy doll's house we am um, doing an ask me anything it's my birthday next sunday um so i'm doing an ask me anything we can literally ask me anything you can ask me it doesn't have to be about me it could be about i've seen that thing on your shelf in the background what is that where can i get one um what glue do you recommend what's your you know it's it's just a but if you don't you can ask about anything anything at all and um we'll uh, we'll answer it um, that's all from me. Um, we will be back very, very, very soon with issue 76 in a world where you can be anything at all. Just be nice and I will catch you very soon. Fish issue 76 of the Disney Dolls House. I'll see you then.